from the earth. All point solution. Literally took me two hours to get here. And they're getting my fish. <laughs> Everybody, this is me, my unboxing Zimpan here today and today I will be having a very special video on my new fish which I purchased today. I actually purchased it through the phone and I went to a place called Uxbridge in the United Kingdom to go and collect it which was pretty daunting actually to get there. It took me around two hours to get there because there were some delays to the train service and it actually took me like an hour and a half to two hours to get back which was kind of weird and annoying because it took me actually four hours in total to go and get the fish. But, you know, they had an amazingly priced fish and I've actually got a discount with them. So, you know, this would be probably a good opportunity. Now, the fish tank you see in front of you guys, I think you've never seen this before because it's a brand new fish tank which I purchased. It's actually a 96 gallon uh, aquarium that I'm going to title the video 90 gallon aquarium because it's between 90 and 96. And as you can see, I've applied a 3D background on the aquarium, which is pretty awesome. Like it actually makes the whole aquarium stand out. I also have some Paytex white uh, gravel at the bottom. I have, some, I have a 50 centimeter ornament, which is this boat, as you can see in the corner. And I also have a very large sort of um, air pump, this there, air stone there, in the circular air stone, which is pretty awesome. So I actually purchased many varieties of fish, and as you see at the bottom, you might notice that I have another fish tank. This is a just under a five gallon uh, aquarium for my better fish and I'm probably going to add about 10 neons in here just so the better fish can get a bit more active chase them around the tank so stuff like that okay anyway so let me show you what fish I purchased from all pond solution okay as I'm back now I can show you guys what I purchased and where I will put these fish okay so these are the 10 neon tetras which I have purchased so we can see I have 10 neon tetras in here I also have what it seems like a, a golden bristle nosed pleco which looks pretty awesome and you can see it poops a lot in this bag but this is the golden bristle nosed pleco okay so that's that that's two and then I have oh, another one and I think these are the five zebradenios which I've also purchased and finally are uh, the golden zebradenios here okay so as you can see let's just put the bags all together all these fish that i purchased today which is pretty you know big so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to put what i need to put in each tank so the first tank that i'm going to put one in is my golden bristle nose plex so this is the golden bristle nose plate and that will go into my goldfish tank and a lot of people say you shouldn't keep um zebradenios with the goldfish because they can die or something or they can like eat them but we'll just experiment with that guys because i actually already have five zebradenios in here um albina zebradenios is it albina i'm not too sure but they, i actually already have five in here so you know that's fine so hopefully that should be fine and for this one these are my long fin zebradenios and i have five in these so I got five normal zebradenios, one golden bristle nose pleco, and one and five um, long fin zebradenios. After about 20 minutes, and then I'll get back to it. And you can see the golden bristle nose pleco is pretty excited about the whole uh, thing there. And finally, I have my 10 neon tetras, as you can see here. And these neon tetras are going to go in this tank at the bottom. So I'm just going to move the camera so you can see. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I have two aquariums at the bottom. This is my guppy fry, which my guppies had. So I, I put that in a separate aquarium with a separate filtration system. And I'm probably going to transfer them very, very soon because they actually got a bit big. And this is my better fish aquarium. That is going to be acclimatizing. I'm just going to bring the camera a bit close so you guys can see that I have acclimatized this. I'm acclimatizing my neon textures with my better fish. Uh, hopefully the better fish doesn't think it's food because, you know, I don't think it would, but yeah. And that's that. 
Um, so the better fish actually looks pretty healthy, as you can see. I purchased him from the aquatic center in Balam, whilst the other fish I purchased from All Pond Solution. And you can see we have some zebradanias in my goldfish tank. We have a golden bristle nose plec up here. There we go. You can see that. And we have some long fin zebradanias, all acclimatizing in my nighty garden aquarium, which I think is. I mean, this aquarium is beautiful. And I also have an important setup I want to show you guys. I have a new filter, which is the Fluval FF6, FX6 filter. This is probably one of the best filtration systems. It actually filters out, I think, uh, 1.5K or 1,500 litres per hour. So it actually filters like five times, four, three, four, four times, five times more than what it actually is. So as you can see, that's why it's crystal clean. Then I'm actually having a bit of an issue with the ammonia at the moment. It's actually going up 0.25. So what, I'm going to, what I do actually, I do daily water changes. So I do about 50 to 75% of water changes every single two days or every single other day, which is pretty cool. What you have to do as well if you want to be a good fish hobbyist. But anyway guys, so I'm going to wait for 20 minutes and I'm going to get back to the video. But you can see everything is acclimatizing. And yeah, so I'll just wait for that guys and I'll be right back. Um, and you also might notice guys, one of my orandas, my red cup orandas, like they're floating around and like upside down and stuff. It's probably because she has swim bladder disease and swim bladder disease is a condition which is pretty bad and devastating for a goldfish. It can be very easily treated with some Epsom salt, aquarium salt, and oh. some tonic which I can add to the solution, which I can add to the aquarium, which I'm probably going to do um, uh, after, or like the day after tomorrow. But actually, uh, I was reading an article online and it said that um, if fish suffer from swim bladder disease, it actually doesn't affect them in terms of lifestyle. I mean, they're, it, they're still going to be perfectly healthy. Um, they're not going to die or anything, they don't, won't usually die or anything, I mean sometimes they might but I don't think they would um, according to the articles that I've been reading. So yeah, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm probably going to isolate that after though, but not now. It's probably going to be in the next couple of few days, but I'll probably make a video on how to treat swim bladder as well. But anyway guys, so the, the actual fish have been acclimatized now. So what the, the famous method that I do is get my orange bucket, which I purchased from B&Q for about 97p, which is a, a, a pretty good deal. I get all of my large nets which I purchased from um, Pets at Home for about, I think, five pounds. Um, I also have a smaller net for my smaller better fish aquarium which I purchased for about two pounds from Pets at Home. So what you want to do is pour the bag into the large net, let the water, you don't want to cross contaminate the water because, you know, the, the chemistry of the water in the pet shop is different from the chemistry of the water in your aquarium. So you don't want to mix those two together because that can have a very bad you know, it can affect the nitrogen cycle in a way because two, two different, you know, sort of strains of bacteria can mix, which is not good. But anyway, let's just actually transfer the fish now. But, uh, and dead as well on arrival, which was pretty stupid. But actually guys, when you go and collect the fish from them, although that you might have some delays in terms of, what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the pleco is like without. I know you shouldn't be doing this, but the pleco is like, like has no water in it, and it's not like effect. It's not going anywhere. Like I'm, I'm gonna try and shake it up. Go in here. Go in here. Come on, come on. Okay, so there we go. I mean, I know you're not supposed to do this, guys, but I'm just gonna show you for demonstration purposes. This is the. Um, bristle nose pleco in my thing. So let's just do that. Enjoy your oh, enjoy your life. Wow, he is beautiful, man. This albino bristle nose pleco is oh, very interesting. Pleco is awesome. Like you can see him right there. It was black bristle nose plecos, but I already have a black one in my tropical aquarium, my living room. So I was like, you know what, you know what? Like, why not? Why can't I just get this one, this albino one? It looks so cute. Anyway, so that's that. And they only had one in stock, I think. And you can see the goldfish are not affected, you know, they're not gonna sort of go out the pleco and kill him. Okay. Wait, is there any fish that is stuck? Okay, so these are the zebradanios. They're a bit jumpy, but you can see there they are. Oh, the 10 zebradanias are in there. 
You see they're all like together, which is so cute. Okay, so that's that. Um, and now I'm gonna transfer the other long fin zebradanios. And you can see there is five long fin zebradanias in there. Okay, and I'm going to transfer that. Three, two, one. Woo! Wow, the long fin one looks pretty amazing. You can see that all oh, that is sun efficient here now. Get out! Okay, these guys are going to take a bit of a time to get out. Oh my god, my better fish is actually... Can you see that? I'm scared. Okay, I have one fish in here. But it's not gonna come out. So I'm trying to try and take it out. So I'm gonna put it on my hand. And then from my hand I'm gonna put it in here. I don't know if you're allowed to do this, but and this is my bristle nose pleco enjoying himself at the back there. He's probably gonna go in the ornaments a bit later on. And this, these are my long fin. You can see the long fin one. You can see so all of the zebradanios sort of scrolling around. You can see um, other zebradanios, and you can see the goldfish interacting with them as well, which is pretty cool and, and cute. And you can see my ten neon tetras scrolling on the bottom with my better fish, which I purchased it from the pet shop in the UK. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you want me to get any more fish, like leave your recommendations down below and I'll see what I can do. Like if you want to get me if you want me to get any more fish guys, leave a comment down below and I will see what I can do. But for the moment guys I think my goldfish tank is literally like complete. Like everything I wanted in my goldfish tank is complete. And I don't want to overstock it too much. But yeah I think this is like this tank is so beautiful. <laughs>